Sam, we saw an increase in the S&P 500 in the first five days of January, and it's up 4.7% year to date. And according to the January barometer, that bodes well for 2012. But last year, it was kind of a similar story. We saw the first five days up and January up. So what's the risk to an up market this year? Well, you could say that uh, it did not fail in 2011 because the Dow was higher. And if you include dividends, the S&P was higher as well. But I do have to admit that uh, I would have preferred a better performance for the S&P 500 price alone. Uh, but here we are, uh, 2012, the January barometer, as you said, was up both in the first five trading days or what the Stock Traders Almanac calls the early warning signal for the January barometer. And for the full month, it looks as if it will be up as well. Uh, so the average going back to World War II is about an 86, 87 percent frequency of correctly forecasting the full year's performance. But what's interesting is that whenever January or even the first five days have been up in a presidential election year, it has never been wrong. With that high con conviction of an increase in 2012, what kind of pop do you think we can see in the stock market? S&P's Investment Policy Committee has a year-end target of 1,400, which is a, um, a very low double-digit, low teens advance from the 1,257 level where we closed in 2011. And basically you could say, well, if we do believe that we're likely to see about $105, $106 per share for the S&P 500, apply a normal P.E. ratio of about 13 and a half, which is where we are right now, then we approach that 1400 level and then some pretty comfortably. Of the companies that re have reported, about 60% of them have beat earnings estimates, which is below the 75% that we've seen in the past few quarters. Do you think as we get further into earnings season, there's a potential for that beat rate to increase? I think the beat rate could increase, but I'm probably more uh, intrigued by uh, the fact that we started the quarter thinking we were going to see a low teens advance in operating results, and now we're happy that we're going to be that we're looking at seven plus percent because we did dip close to five percent. So what I mean by that is that. Um, we're still about half of where we were uh, at the beginning of the quarter, yet the market continues to be higher. I think a lot of that has to do with uh, the efforts going on in Europe to resolve the, fin the uh, financial debt crisis there, and I think therefore investors are focusing more on the European situation than they are earnings here in the U.S.